All right, folks, we're going to get to the Malsberg panel, the much-anticipated Malsberg panel, in a second. First, I want to tell you about the great new book by Newsmax contributor and political analyst Dick Morris. You know it is called Power Grab, Obama's Dangerous Plan for a One-Party Nation. I strongly urge you to get a copy of this number one Amazon bestseller. You go right now to powergrab411.com and get your copy now. That's powergrab. 411.com. All right. Commentator on religion, society, and pop culture, and the author of You Don't Have to Be Wrong for Me to Be Right, Finding Faith Without Fanaticism, Brad Hirschfield, and uh, columnist at Breitbart.com and American Thinker, C. Edmund Wright. And gentlemen, I welcome both of you. Let me start with uh, you, uh, Rabbi. Um, this, uh, this revelation yesterday on Sean Hannity's show by the Ferguson police chief that indeed they are looking into possibly uh, prosecuting uh, the stepfather of Michael Brown uh, for incitement uh, or some such crime uh, based on what we had shown over and over again when the grand jury verdict was announced he was hugging uh, Michael Brown's mother then he turns around with his pants down below his waist and starts talking about uh, let's burn this bitch down and said it repeatedly and then of course there were riots and fires whether or not he was directly responsible I don't know um, and then there are those I've seen on TV all day saying, well, even if he did it, even if you can do it legally, you know, it's not the right thing to do. Where do you fall in? Well, not the right thing to do, meaning what he said. No, no. And I know what they meant, but yeah. I couldn't disagree more. I believe in free speech, but that doesn't mean unlimited speech all the time. The guy incited violence. Right? And that's why we have to be very careful. I would not compare what he's doing to what, like, the Rams 5 did. Right? They're very, very different. The guy got up and said, burn this blank down. He asked for violence, and he got violence. There's got to be some accountability for that, I think. Edmund, I got a feeling you'll go to agree. Yeah, although I, I don't agree that there's that much difference between what the Rams did, given their place in society, and, and what this basically unknown stepfather did. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Steve, we know the First Amendment protects the right to free speech, but it does not protect the right to yell fire in a crowded theater. I believe that's uh, written by one of the justices. And that's exactly what this guy did. He, he in effect, yelled fire. In fact, yelled start a fire in a, in a crowded theater, a, a crowded township. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And it's interesting. I want to go back to the, uh, the, the Rams. You know, I was yeah. at the Monday Night Football game last night, my son and I, and I, I, I watched purposely and intently as the, um, the, um, the, the um, players came out of the, uh, the runway in the tunnels. And I was really hoping, I was hoping to see five white players come out and pause and maybe do something like, if the camera could come on me, maybe do something like this, like take a, you know, say something like, you know, stop. Stop, and I'm, I'm get the camera down. Stop, stop, you know, freeze like this um, a, a, in support of law enforcement and, and Officer uh, Wilson. And I'm sure that the NFL, um, Edmund, would have said, hey, our players have a right to express themselves. My butt they would have. They would have fined those guys in a half a second. Yeah, look, you have the right. You, you can't exercise all of your constitutional rights simultaneously necessarily. You have the right to play in the NFL if you're good enough. You also have the right to express your opinion. Doesn't mean you can do them at the same moment. And that's the, th the NFL knows better than this. The Rams know better than this. Coach Jeff Fisher knows better than this. They're just frightened of a players' union uh, that's largely African American. Right, and Rabbi, there are limitations. Every workplace puts limitations on, on all their workers. There are things you can't say, I can't say. So yeah. why on earth is the NFL condoning and allowing this when they won't allow certain celebrations after a touchdown in the end zone? Right, look, there are always workplace limitations. I frankly wouldn't make this about race. I would have found it much more powerful if five black players had come out and done exactly what you did, Steve, because this isn't fundamentally about race, and that's one of the mistakes. We yeah. shouldn't fall into that trap either. But, 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 but isn't yeah. it? I mean, a, isn't it really fundamentally about race? Wait, Edmund, let just the rabbi go, then you'll go. No, I hope it's not. And actually, David Brooks wrote today in the New York Times, I think really wisely, it's much more about issues of economics than it is about race. I think that that has to be addressed. I think there should be accountability. I think if any one of those five players had come out and said anything in support of the lawlessness, the violence, the danger, the burning, and the looting that went on in Ferguson, I would yeah. slam them down in the end zone as hard as they slammed but they down did, the Edmund, But they didn't do that. But, Edmund, they did say that they were showing support for the community. And what has the community been doing? Yeah, well, right. That's, that, 
th that whole hands up thing, that was a bat. That's a battle cry. It's a racial battle cry now. Uh, you know, and I hate to say that anything that I mean, I'm disagreeing with David Brooks here because I disagreed with him when he said Obama's pant crease guaranteed he'd be a great president. So I don't know that that's supporting your case very well. Well, I, I, again, yeah, Rabbi. No, again, I don't want to make a debate about David, not about David, and, and, and who's going to be right about that. I actually think, though, to the extent that that symbol is allowed to be owned by any one community, we're making a terrible mistake. The bottom line is that was speaking to a kind of rage. Acknowledge it and move past it. All right, it. all right. Well, guys, we'll reconvene in uh, just a few minutes on the panel. But coming up next, you're going to talk about uh, a columnist for the New York Post who has a very interesting take on this.